So, you know what time it is, and you know who it is. So you wanna know what I'm talking about? Well, if you didn't read the thumbnail, then I guess you just have to sit there and wait on me to come back and tell you all about it. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Trey Sense. Beautiful day here in Alabama, mid 60s, sun is shining, it's beautiful outside, loving it, I'm feeling myself today. Like this song Queen Latifah had back in the day, what she say, feeling it. Fill the glass to the top of my wet, fill the legs as it push on the set, fill the high that you get from your life, if you can feel it, put your L in the sky. Hey, that's what we're doing today, we're feeling it, man. Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. So. Anyway, what I came to talk to y'all about, I had this little discussion about, review about, blue fragrances in my collection that don't get a whole lot of talk. Now we know about Blue de Chanel, we know about the Invictus line, we know about all those blue fragrances. But there's a lot of other blue fragrances out there that smell decent, perform decent for the price, because most of these are fairly inexpensive, that just don't get a lot of talk. Let me get right to it, no further ado. And as y'all see this beautiful red sun is shining in behind me, ain't it beautiful? From the house of Kenneth Cole. And this is simply Kenneth Cole Blue. Now this one, man, very underrated fragrance. And I'll tell you, speaking of blue, this should be a light blue fragrance because it's, it's not dark, it's not heavy. It is very easy. And did I forget to bring one of my blue fragrances in here? I absolutely, no I didn't, there it is. I'm getting old y'all. But this is a fresh, I won't say tropical, but very refreshing type of blue fragrance. Man, oh man. I wore this one year on vacation and I did a short little review on it. I was actually in the swimming pool. And that's what this reminds me of. It just reminds me of a nice, refreshing swim, sort of like um, Louis Vuitton afternoon swim, similar to that. Not quite as sweet and not quite as strong, but still a nice, easy to wear fragrance. And look at that, it looks even pretty in that bottle. Man, that's just a nice fragrance. Compliment getter, easy to wear. Any age can pull that off. Occasions to wear that, I simply think you can wear that on just about any occasion. That could have made the white party, the beach party, you can wear it to the cookout, you can wear it at the church, you can wear it to the office, very office friendly, light enough that you can wear it to the gym. That's just one of those that you can throw on and go. Change clothes, let's go. The next blue fragrance, was got, it got a little bit of hype when it first came out, and it's a flanker. It's a flanker to Guest 1981, and this is 1981 Indigo. Now I can't remember which one I had first. I can't remember if I had the Indigo first or the Guest first. I mean, the 1981 first, and I can't remember if I got this one in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina when I was on vacation. Actually, it would have been in Charleston. We were on vacation in Myrtle Beach and went over to Charleston. And I'm pretty sure that's where I got this one. And I haven't worn it much, and I need my tail kick. This is a nice, tropical blue type of scent. You pick up on just a little bit of blueness, but man, what it is, it's just a nice, tropical, coconutty type of vibe going on. Decent longevity, decent projection for what you pay for it. Bottle this size is around $14 to $15. And Guess makes some really nice fragrances. Guess Blue Seduction is good, and Guess, is it seduction or seductive? Maybe seductive. But either way, it's a good fragrance. And people are just overlooking fragrances like that. I understand that our noses develop and, and change and get a little bit more, more fine-tuned and trained. Hey, so does mine. That's why when I tell you that a fragrance like this is still worth the 10, 15, 20 dollars that you're gonna pay for it, it is. Is it gonna be for everybody? No. Does this work in every occasion? No, it doesn't. But if it's hot outside and you're in a warm climate like, you, like my people's house in Texas where it gets hot starting about now and it's gonna stay hot till December when Santa Claus is coming, Fragrances like this come in handy because you're gonna reach for warm weather fragrances. And this one is one that I could see if we were going on vacation to say like Jamaica or on a cruise or something, I would want to reach for this because it's just, 
got that vibe and it does not smell cheap at all. It smells of a decent quality fragrance. And that's Guess 1981 Indigo. I forgot to talk about performance on this one. Again, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a light blue type of fragrance. And when I say light blue, I don't mean that it smells like Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I just mean it's not a heavy, dense fragrance. It is a light, crisp, spray on. Man, you're gonna feel good. Another one that's a fairly new release, may, new release, may have even been a 2020 release. I like it from the House of Coach, Coach Blue. Is it an overwhelming fragrance? Fragrance? No, it's very underwhelming. Uh, I don't think it's as good as the original Coach. I think I like it more than Platinum, even though Platinum smells good, but Platinum just doesn't perform that well on me. Um, I think this is a good office scent. I think this is one of those fragrances that close encounters. And let me say this while I'm on the topic. Listen guys, I watched, I can't remember who the guy was, but he was some big funny talking guy, French guy, but he was big in the cologne world. Uh, he may have worked for Dillard's or somebody like that and they were interviewing, but he was, uh, he was in retail sales of cologne. And they were talking to him about fragrances and his response was, you spray two to three sprays on the post points of your body and a person should only smell them within an arm's length of you. So think about that. We complain about the projection and performance of some of these fragrances, guys, they're not supposed to last you all day. They're not. They're not supposed to last you 75 hours. And then you're not supposed to, my neighbors should know when I put on cologne. If I'm going outside and my neighbors be like, there go Trey, he got on that cologne again. Then it's, I've either sprayed on too much or the cologne is too strong. Now, hey, that's what I like. I'm just gonna, I ain't, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real. That's what I like. If I spray my shirt with cologne, when I take the shirt off, I like to be able to sit it down and my shirt stay up like it's still on me. It's just what I like. But that's not realistic. That's not most fragrances and that doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance if it doesn't do that. This is a great, great close encounter type of scent. It's not a monster projector. It's not a monster performer, but it'll get you through uh, any type of event that you have to go through. If you wear this to an eight hour work shift and you work in the office, you're not gonna be in strenuous climate. I mean, so you make it spread a little bit on your shirt and get away with it or throw it in your briefcase. You get a small bottle like this, put it in your briefcase. Take it with you. You know, reapply at lunch or something. But I think it's one of those fragrances that people will think you smell nice and it does smell of quality. And I, I like it. I like the fragrance a lot. Again, it's not one of those that is super duper uh, in performance and that is Coach Blue. I know I said this before, I the highway, highway 72, if you've ever traveled through the south, goes all the way to Birmingham, Memphis, is right there. So I hear noise all the time, it catches my attention. If y'all wonder what I be looking at, I promise you I'm not crazy. Another one that's a different type of blue, but still in the blue family, but just barely hanging on to the blue, is from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, and it is Aqua Essenziale. And it's, the aqua is in there, but it's got a hint of blue. Again, good office scent, nice, crisp, breezy type of fragrance to wear this time of the year. I'm not sure I would wear this one in the high heat of the, well, I would wear it in the high heat of the summer, but you're not gonna get great performance or longevity out of it. You're just not. It's a very light, inoffensive fragrance. But does it smell good? Yes, it smells really, really good. It's kind of like a clean, blue aquatic, but very light. If that makes any sense to you. Times I would wear this again, anything casual or to an office or to church, you know, or if you're one of those people, because believe this or not, there are people out there that don't like their fragrances to project a whole lot. There are people that like them close to their body so they can enjoy them. Everybody is not like me and cheapo. Want them things to get to the room. But I want my cologne to get there five minutes before I get there. So everybody know Trey Sense is coming. I want them to know. This is not one of those fragrances. Does it smell good? Yes. This big old bottle was maybe $19, $20. And for that, I like it. You see it's slightly blue, but it's more aquatic than anything. Very subtle projector, very soft projector. Uh, performance is average, maybe four hours. But again, another one, great for the office, great for church, great for those close encounter events where you don't want to be turning nobody that don't, ain't trying to be turned on. Um, fragrances like this work and come in handy. 
sticking in the house of Ferragamo. This is one that's been making the rounds again lately, and it is Aqua Essenziale Blue. And I just sent my boy JP, that's right, I got to send JP something for a change. I just sent him a big old 100 mil bottle of this. I picked up a gift set on clearance for $18, and it had the 100 mil and the shower gel and the aftershave. And he didn't want them. He's like, nah, I'm good on that. Just sent me to come home. So I sent him 100 mil of this. Great deal. And for the price that you get this fragrance at, it smells really, really good. Now, what is this? This is a clean, soapy blue. Similar to Bulgari BLV, Bulgari Blue. Bulgari is more soapy, but well, this is more blue. But you will pick up on a nice little clean, soapy vibe to this. Uh, very mature type of fragrance. It smells really, really good. People are going to think you paid a lot of money for this. Even though you didn't, they're going to like it. They're going to think it smells good on you. It's an inviting, come close, cuddle type of fragrance. And I like that because that's what I want you to do is come close. If I like you and I'm smelling good for you, I want you to come close. You know, and that's what this is. Performance on it is pretty good for what it is. It's a five, six, seven hour performer. You'll pick up whiffs of that all day. All right, the next one, extremely cheap fragrance for 100 mils. This is Penguin Ice Blue. And I just got off the phone with, with my, my partner, Mr. Clayton Wright, and affectionately known, his wife, affectionately known as Mama. They was doing a little hunting. And uh, he picked this up and was looking at it and I was like, yeah, you know, it's, it's decent. Okay, about this fragrance. It's decent. It's blue. It's soapy blue. Similar to this, not the quality of this, but very similar. But here's the thing about this one, and I'm just gonna say this. This fragrance is this fragrance and this fragrance line, they have one thing in common. They're very gentlemanly fragrances. These fragrances are made for people who are not necessarily fragrance wearers, are not fragrance connoisseurs like me and my game, like Manny, like JP, Cheapo, Sam. They're, these fragrances are not necessarily made for guys like us. What I would wear a fragrance like this for me, bedtime, running down to the Piggly Wiggly, pick up missing bacon and eggs, something like that, something like that, just a casual around the house. Other people would wear this fragrance out if they were going out somewhere and they would be fine because it smells good. When you first spray it, it's, it you gotta wait about 30 seconds because it is strong alcohol. Just what it is. But once you let this do what it do and get to the dry down stages, you have a pretty nice fragrance that projects solidly for an hour, hour and a half. And I know you're probably going, hour, hour and a half, that's right. Hour, hour and a half, four, five hours of longevity. It's not a beast. It's not a monster. It's a gentlemanly fragrance. It's everything from Penguin is, with the exception of the premium line. Premium blend and iconic blend um, project a little bit better and give you a little bit better longevity, but original blend does not. It, it, it does not. To me, it's the definition of generic cologne. This is a nice blue scent. I like it, the name of it is Cool Blue, if I haven't said that, and that, I think that fits it. It's a nice, cool, crisp, soapy type of scent. And it really smells pretty good. It really does, but you just have to let it work and understand that this is not one that they're gonna smell you five miles away. It's one that when you move, they're gonna catch whiffs of you. I suggest spray a little bit on your clothes. They're gonna get whiffs here and there. You'll get whiffs and you'll, you'll like it. But if you're expecting this to knock down doors, it is not. But still, it's a nice one, easy to wear to the office, church, gym, or gift to a person that doesn't really like strong fragrances because there's some people that, like Mr. George Zahara, I think part of the reason that he created his fragrance line was because he can't wear a lot of fragrances because his nose is so sensitive. So that's what you do, you make your own. For those of you who can't afford to make your own, fragrances like this, they're not floral, they're not overly masculine, they're easy to wear, and easy on the pocket. 15 bucks, you can have this big old thing. All right. Sneaky blue. Sneaky type of blue. I think I'm gonna put this in the air. I ain't got my ceiling fan on. Yeah. I, I like this. I like this fragrance a lot. This is CK Summer. 
I think this is the 2018, maybe the 2019. This is that Embroxony typical blue fragrance with a little bit of summer vibe and a little bit of playfulness to it. I caught these on clearance for like $12, but I saw this fragrance the other day. And, well, no, it wasn't the other day. It's been a couple months ago now. In Kohl's on sale for $70. On sale. Same fragrance. And I'm like, I bought that a year and a half ago. Because I think I gave them away at my 700 giveaway, maybe. I think I gave a ball away of this. And I caught that bottle on clearance for like $12. So I don't know why it would be $60 on sale at Colts, but it was. But nonetheless, very summery blue, easy to wear blue, fresh, mass appealing, bright, uplifting, vibrant, youthful. Where would I wear this? Anywhere that I wanted to go that I was I wouldn't say not trying to impress somebody. A little bit bubble gummy, as I still smell it in the air. Just anywhere casual. Anywhere casual that I was, if I was hanging out with the boys, playing pool, or, you know, dominoes or cards or whatever, running down to the car wash, that would be a good place to wear this. Just anywhere casual, laid back, that you didn't want to have to try too hard. I think this would be a good one to wear. And that's CK1 Summer. I like that fragrance. I like it a lot. Man, I got a few more. Let me do these two real quick. This one is not to be played with, and it is one of the darker blues, but it is also a blue noir, and it is Narciso Rodriguez. Man, oh man. Now this one is barely still in the blue line also, but it's the other way. It, this is a rich, sexy, slightly smoky, masculine romantic blue fragrance this just smells good and this is the edt they make the edt and the edp i could not imagine the edp smelling a whole lot better than this because it's got a smoky vibe to it but it's not overly smoky but it's just a hint of smoke in it i absolutely love it i mean this is a banger occasions to wear this date night if I wanted to impress somebody, yeah, I would wear this. I think somebody would be impressed with this. It smells different. Not not a lot in my collection that has this type of scent profile. Just saying. Longevity on that is decent. Uh, a good solid two hours of projection. I think I got six to eight hours of longevity out of it. I hadn't worn it in a couple of months, so I can't remember. And on that CK Summer, if I didn't mention it, longevity and projection on it's moderate. Nothing out of the ordinary. Hour, hour and a half projection, three, four hours of longevity, and you have to reapply. That's just it. It's a good fragrance though, I, I like it. And for that price, I don't mind. Compliment getter, compliment getter, problem starter, Jimmy Choo Man Blue. The original Jimmy Choo Man smells amazing, but that stuff blows off of you like dust in the wind. But if it didn't, that would be a banger rubber fragrance. But they corrected a lot of those issues with this. This is a beautiful fragrance. Compliment getter. Again, I think it's impressive. I went into a gas station, a convenience store with this on, and them old cougars in there about devoured me. They told me I smelled delicious. I was like, delicious? I'm thinking, is that a chocolate man joke? Delicious? That's what they said. Whatever that is, honey, that smells delicious. Woo! I need 10 on pump five and exit stage right. But nonetheless, great fragrance. <laughs> I mean, great fragrance. I, I like it. I like it. It's very versatile. You can rock this in the spring and in the summer because it was hot when I wore it. It was September when I wore it, so it was still hot. Um, but it did good. It did really well. Nice performer. Uh, I don't think it's stellar in performance. I'm trying to remember because I haven't worn it since then. I think it's good, but I don't remember it being like 10, 12 hours. So I'm going to say it's moderate. Two good hour and a half, two hours of projection. Um, four or six hours of longevity. You know, nothing groundbreaking. Got two more. Well, 
I need something to spray this on because I'm still trying to get a vibe for this one. This is from the House of Perry Ellis and it's very blue. Is what this one's called. Perry Ellis very blue. And I'm trying to, to I haven't worn this one in a while either. This one, as I poke myself, again, this is one that's barely in the blue family. I think some fragrances are blue and soapy. Well, this is one. And it's not a super soapy fragrance, and it's not a super blue fragrance. This is another one that I think would be good to wear to the office. I paid like $10, $11 for this 50 mil. Um, and this is Perry Ellis Berry Blue. I like the fragrance. It's, it's, it's a little bit underwhelming, but again, for the price that you pay for it, I think it's worth picking up. Especially if you're in the market for a fragrance just to wear, that you're not a special occasion, not a date, just, hey, you need a fragrance to put on, spray on and smell good. I think that one would do just fine. Is it one you're gonna reach for on special occasions? No, it's not. Does it smell decent enough to wear? Absolutely, absolutely. Is it one of my favorites? No, it's not. Do I like the scent profile? I do, because it's like a slightly blue, soapy, masculine, woody type of fragrance, which just describes just about every cologne that they've made in the last 20 years, but nonetheless, I like it. From the house of Hugo Boss, a different type of blue. I need to spray this one too. A different type of blue. And this is Hugo Boss Dark Blue. And I wore this one time. I can't remember. So instead of lying to you, I'm gonna get a little honest opinion real quick. And I should have turned my fan on because I'm, oh yes. Yes, this is definitely dark blue. Now, it's not as dark as this which is Narciso Rodriguez, but it's not as strong as that. This is sort of clean, sort of spicy, very masculine, very different, not so much mass appealing. This is the type of fragrance that I love having in my collection because a lot of people just overlook them and then years go by and they're discontinued and the next thing you know, they're $400 a bottle. And I'm like, I got that. Ha <laughs> ha, I bought it when nobody else would. Yeah, yes. Spicy, dark blue, soapy, masculine, something in it wants to go sweet, but it's not going sweet at all, but still. Great little fragrance right there. I like that one. I like that. I remember wearing it and being surprised when I, how much I liked it when I wore it. That's a blue that you could wear in the cooler months. So if you live in a place where the temperatures are still cool in, in March and April, first of spring, first of summer, that's a blue you could still rock. I like that. I don't have to wear that more. The last one on the list is from the house of Hugo Boss, and it is Boss Bottled Infinite. And I have not worn this one yet. I have not had it very long, but I am a huge fan of Hugo Boss fragrances. Huge fan of the Bladder Serene line. Love that stuff, man. Delmar. That's nice. Uh, maybe I'm picking up, I don't know if I'm picking up whiffs off this paper or whiffs of all the cologne I sprayed on myself. Okay. Man, I wish I had sprayed it on me. Little bit of the Boss Bottle DNA, none of the apple notes. I don't pick up on the apple note in it at all, but you know that cleanliness, that clean note that runs through Boss Bottle, the original? You can pick up on that in this. Yeah, that's nice. The dry down on this is gonna be where the magic is. It's starting to go like it's wanting to turn slightly mass appealing like other blue fragrances. Um, I'm not even sure this should be considered as a blue fragrance, but it's in this list. Yeah. 
Barely, just barely blue. Man, that dark is cutting up now. Just barely blue, but still. Nonetheless, it's a good fragrance. I can't testify about projection, performance, or anything on this fragrance because I have not worn it yet. But what I can tell you is I like it. It does smell good. I've enjoyed it the few times that I've test sprayed it. I have yet to put it on skin. Did I put that on my skin? No, I didn't. Maybe one more sniff here. The longer it sits, the more that boss ball. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. It smells a little similar to this one, but not nowhere near as strong and as rich. Um, it smells very developed. It smells like a well-made, well-blended fragrance. I think you can get a bottle of that 50 mil for about $30 if you shop right now. I think it's worth that. I think it's a good little purchase. Is it going to blow your doors off? No, it's not. But is it going to be a good fragrance, a different, a curveball in your collection? Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, you know what the, you know what the drill is now. Be sure to like share if you haven't subbed please give your boy a sub thank you as always for tuning in it is always a pleasure and a joy to be one of the reviewers that you guys watch i am very humble and appreciative of you all i love you all um let's help my channel keep growing and the way we do that is by subbing so thank you for the sub i really appreciate it and i'm gonna get off here if you have any video ideas for me leave it in the comments below if you have any of these fragrances comment below. If you have a blue fragrance that you think is amazing, comment below. All right, guys, that is all. I hope you're having a happy Sunday. I'm fixing to go edit this video and finish watching this NCAA tournament. Until next time, love you all. Peace.